The programme was designed to uh, create real employment opportunities and training opportunities for vulnerable adults, in particular ex-offenders uh, who are at a disadvantage in the job market. So we use, um, it's a social enterprise that operates in the commercial recycling sector and we divert difficult to manage waste streams from landfill such as PVC windows and other plastic materials like bottles and, and other plastic waste. So we'll bring that back. We will buy that off uh, various waste management companies and the like, uh, local councils. Uh, we will bring that back to site and then there are various operations in which the guys with varying skill sets and the staff will then work on sorting these materials and we'll then upgrade them and sell them on and that's how we add value and make money. Elixir Group engages with our target group uh, working in partnership with Merseyside Probation Trust and Achieve Northwest. They, the, our target beneficiaries then come through and undergo a full induction and training process uh, which covers health and safety uh, and various other a certificated training that they receive. They'll then get a, a level two QCF, which was formerly MVQ, in recycling. So they've got a, a comprehensive package of training and relevant work experience and skills. From that point then, the, the impact, that gives a great self-confidence and belief in these individuals. The job itself gives them belief about the, the future and the career prospects. Family relationships improve at home. People can provide for the families again, which means a huge, you know, it's a big deal for people. And then they're going on to further employment either with us or with other, within the recycling industry because of the skills and confidence they've got. So they can go in and talk to an employer and really have an understanding of the business. And that's why they're getting employed. Alex Group's had a, had a major positive impact on the environment because of the amount of tonnes diverted from landfill. So the, literally five, over 5,000 tonnes, uh, to put that in perspective, you could probably fill at least a couple of uh, football stadiums with that amount of, of waste. That's all been diverted from landfill. We've then turned that and converted that into a valuable raw commodity. So again, instead of organisations having to buy virgin raw materials in, they're using a recycled material, which has again saved thousands and thousands of barrels of oil. I think we've, it's been calculated that we've said about a, a billion pounds worth of oil being used at, at, if, if you go on air on the oil prices. So it's had a major environmental impact. It's also had a, an impact in the community because of the, not just the jobs we've created, because we're paying money for this material now that was going to landfill. The companies we're buying off are then creating jobs to process this material and get it into a state where we can buy it off them. So it's had a ripple effect throughout the community in terms of job creation and, and impact. The target groups where people were targeting have got loads of barriers stopping them getting employment. So we positioned ourselves next to the worst communities so they didn't have far to go to work. You know, we've engaged with organisations so we, we, we get a larger catchment, make sure people aren't falling through the net. What we've also learned is that business and social impact don't have to be two separate things. We can have a commercially focused business that is driven by profits that has tremendous social impact as well and the two don't need to be kind of exclusive we, we can bring them together and hopefully other businesses will follow that model if we if we can remove the stigmas and demonstrate that these people are employable and do make good employees then maybe other private sector organizations will take that lead